Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install the NPS browser which is the No PlayStation browser on your PS Vita. So this assumes that you've got your PS Vita hacked and you've got some custom firmware on there and that you have access to something like Vita Shell. There's other videos out there covering how to do that. So go to Google or you know, to any sort of no, this is Chrome, but any sort of web browser, and literally just Google NP. No, not NPS. Did I say NPS browser? Sorry, my bad. How to install PKGJ, which is like the NPS browser, but for your PS Vita. So if you Google PKGJ, not PKGI, which is an older version of it, but PKGJ. So as you can see, it's forked from the older version. And if you go to this page, if you end up here, just literally go to releases, download the latest version, which as of making this video is 0 0.55, and download the VPK, which is it's like APKs before PS Vita. We got it downloaded as you can see. And let me delete these couple of things. I'll let that delete. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually switch over to our PS Vita. So I'm going to hit record on the PS Vita. So you should be able to see the PS Vita now. And what you want to do is you want to, first of all, make sure you go to the settings, wherever that is for you. My right shoe is right here somewhere. There it is. And in here, you want to go to Hinkaku settings, make sure enable unsafe homebrew is selected. It's really all you need to deal with in here. And now, in, now you open up Vita Shell. Now in Vita Shell, you'll, you'll probably end up looking like that. And in here, what you want to do is press triangle sorry one second start start and this gives you a few options so now let me just let me focus a bit more on it there we go so for the usb device make sure you've got memory card selected and if i you can just basically do this let me just focus a bit more Okay, so memory card, you, you want to, for the select button, you want it to choose USB, and everything else is fine. So we can click back, and now what you want to do is click the select button down here. USB is connected, and now on your computer, you will see the USB drive pop up. If you don't, you can just manually go to the computer and open up the USB drive like so and in here you want to copy over the pkgj.vpk I've already got so I'll just replace it so just get just do that once you've done that we can go back to the PS Vita now and in here press X and go to UX0 scroll down to your PKGJ VPK, click circle or X for you, depending on because my PS Vita is from Japan, so circle is go and X is to cancel or go back. So X or circle, wherever you want, and just install it. Shouldn't take long at all. This will pop up. Just click yes, and like I said, the installation will be quick because it is a small file. Okay, so that's that done. Now, if I go back, and uh, now if I swipe, let me just focus a bit better. Okay, so now if I scroll down, you'll see PKGJ. So if I open that up, uh, 
you just wait patiently. If the games don't appear, then what you want to do is press triangle. If you say something about needing to refresh, press triangle. Go to refresh and press X or circle depending on what the select option is. Click that, you'll refresh it. But this is really only a one time thing unless you want to see if there's any new games. Also, I want to say this video is for educational purposes. This video does not condone piracy, so just bear that in mind. And now you can download games, demos, DLC, themes, that sort of stuff. So if you press triangle, from here you can choose games, which will be PS Vita games. DLC will be PS Vita DLC. Demos will be PS Vita demos. Themes will be PS Vita themes. PSX games is, well, PlayStation 1 games. PSP games is PSP games. PSP DLC is PSP DLC. And PSM games is, well, PSM games. You can filter and sort it like so. You can filter it by region as well. If you want to, you can specifically search for a game. And you can see which ones are installed currently as well. So if I want to install something, it's really simple. So like if I do Abs Animals, which is a pretty cool game, and you just click Select, and it will say firmware version. For me, it's 3.73. Required firmware version is lower than my current, which is good. Installed game version, not installed. And so your, so you say diagnostic. Your firmware is recently enough. Great. Game not installed. Okay, so press select. It will take a few seconds for it to show this. So it's in the library. So if I press select again and press the home button. And now if I go to here, there it is. It is now downloading the abs animals the speed of the download will vary because the wi-fi chip in the ps vita is pretty weak to be fair so just bear that in mind but if you have nps browser or installed on your computer for bigger games i opt to choose that and also depending on how the game is you know set up if there's a lot of small files it'll be slower so bigger files in the game then it'll be faster. So it's almost done. So it's gonna install it now. The installation will depend on how big the actual game is. And there we go. So we can launch it up as we would any other game. Abs animals, and there we go. So it's just gonna load up now. Okay, so that is it, and we can play the game now. So again, obviously, depending on the game, you have different features, but there you go, we got abs animals. So that's it. If you have any questions on how to install or do anything with PK. GJ, feel free to pop me a message as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video you can also hit us up on the discord group and there's plenty of channels that cover all sorts of emulation type of content and i look forward to seeing you very soon